Classic physique is where I come from. It's where Arnold, Robbie, Frank Zane. That is classic physique. They say physique, but it's really classic bodybuilding. A lot of guys chasing me, you know, it's, it's, the sport of bodybuilding has grown tremendously and so have the, uh, the number of competitors. So yes, I do have a lot of added competition that Arnold didn't have to face during this era. Eight Mr. Olympias, where are you going to go beyond that? I felt that was, that was it for me, but to win it eight years in a row at the age of 31, that was a miracle in itself. It was a gift from God. Yes, I had to work hard. You just don't hand gifts out. You have to go get it. And I went and got it with all of my heart. Uh, with that eighth Olympia, it felt like whew, I could finally exhale. Because when you're on the top, there's nowhere to go but down. And so you're always focusing on how do I stay here? And you, you and you're, I'm living and I lived. You know, I had two children while I was training for the Mr. Olympia, stayed on top, was still raining. Uh, but there's, there's a certain amount of pressure. I had businesses going on. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening. So that last Olympia, I said what I needed to say, and I was ready to bow out and say thank you. Come in close with me, baby. Hey. Come on, baby, let's go. Three more, three more. Hey. The intensity, I generally try to work towards preparing for the Olympia 12 months out of the year the intensity starts to increase about six months away from the show. Uh, and then the final 12 weeks is when I really start to pour it on because the body cannot withstand uh, a great deal of punishment an entire uh, 17, 18 weeks. So 12 weeks is very intense. Well, it's, it's a lot different now because I have younger bodybuilders that I meet at competitions and you know, one of the things that I'm a sticker on is what do your wheels look like? You know, you gotta have some legs. Listen, I'm okay with physique and I love physique, but I love a full package too. You know, that's, that's how I grew up and that's where I am. So I wanna know that a guy actually have calves, I wanna know that they have legs. You know, so one of the things that I see that's sort of off balance now is athletes don't give enough time to bring it about growth and muscle maturity in the different body parts. They're now in a system where they would train one body part a week, uh, legs once a week, calves once a week, particularly calves. You know, and that's a biggie for me. I never will forget when I first uh, visit World's Gym and you had Joe Gold there. I mean, Joe Gold was like the, one of the godfathers of bodybuilding when it came to the gym world. Cause he created Worlds and Gold's Gym. His name was on both of them. So I never will forget as I came in for the first time at Worlds Gym, California, uh, Ed Giuliano, Eddie Giuliano was standing there and he said, Joe, come out of the office, check out this, this young kid. And so he did. So Joe walked around the circle and he watched me and he said, uh, pull up your pants leg, kid. So I pulled my pants leg up and he looked and said, you're going places. He didn't give a crap about what he saw up top because everybody got something up top. If you don't have wheels, you don't make it in the sport of bodybuilding. Not in the sense of where I came from in the era uh, prior to me. So that's a very important deal. And so when I meet a lot of young athletes, you know, one of the things I actually, I look and I know it's a lot of them like calves. So how many days do we train the calves? One to two? I said, one to two. I say, man, we train our calves five to six days a week. A calf is a stubborn muscle. So how do you expect for it to respond? You've been walking around on them since you were born. So your calf is used to high endurance. So in order to go beyond that, you got to give it something very different you have to stimulate and nearly annihilate a calf in order for it to respond. Heavy, hard, consistent. 
And then I look at the fact that a lot of the athletes are training, you know, one body part, uh, a workout. They have an arm day, then they have a chest day, they got a back day. I said, how ridiculous is that? And what I see a lot is uh, immature muscle. That particular type of program is more designed for a power lifter than it is for an actual bodybuilder. And so you can see it in the physique, the cross striation and the muscle maturity is not there like it used to be. So I spent a lot of time rewriting and fixing programs for the younger generation of, of bodybuilders. I'm definitely pro-classic physique. Classic physique is where I come from. It's where Arnold, Robbie, Frank Zane. That is classic physique. They say physique, but it's really classic bodybuilding. That's what it is. It's beautiful bodybuilding. You have the vacuum, you have the nice line, and yes, you have the wheels. You know, so I see no difference in that. I'm really happy to see that element of bodybuilding make its way back because I felt that the physiques had sort of gotten out of hand. You know, what made bodybuilding beautiful was no longer beautiful. And classic physique brings that back.